When we ran out, uh, you only get to see like the little bowl. So you see the pom-poms waving and stuff like that. And I got a split second or a moment to look at the top and I seen the entire upper bowl filled with people that were on their feet shaking pom-poms as well. It was exciting, you know, uh, never really been playing against that many people. So it was, ex it was just exciting to go out there and just try to give, you know, a couple minutes and just, just be out there and have fun. It was just an amazing feeling to see how everybody has kind of just embraced the links and just going along with this journey and this ride that we're on and just having fun doing it. It's actually really beautiful out here. I really like it. It's real quiet, not, you know, not, not too, I mean, stuff goes on, but it's real nice to be around here. I just say thank you for your support um, and continue to come out and support us. And it always happens, especially with guys. They, they never knew about Lynx basketball. I never really cared about the WNBA. And then they come to a Lynx game and they fall in love with everything that we have to offer. They may come and, you know, love me as a player, but then they get there and they fall in love with Rebecca Bronson and Lindsey Whalen and Maya Moore. And it's just like a loving family atmosphere. And that's a great thing to have. We got some good fans, you know, They're fa there's fans everywhere. So I went to the Mall of America and it, people was trying to go in the hat world and buy links, some link stuff and they don't have anything in there. Over the last two or three months, like it's, I'm, I'm not saying we're on the level of the Vikings or the Twins or anybody like that, but we are. We do have our own little celebrity status going on around here. I went to Noodles and Company just a few days ago, and it was almost like a standing ovation. You know, when I walked in, like everybody was so excited, like good luck, good luck, and it's a great feeling because for so long we can walk through the mall and never get stopped. Now people want to stop and talk to us and be a part of uh, what we have to offer here. I struggled at the beginning, just trying to get adjusted to the league and how physical and and things were. So. I mean, it, it's been a it's been a, a progress for me, and I've I've been getting better. If you're a basketball lover and you understand the game, you respect the game, then you will love the WNBA. You'll love what the women's side has to offer. No, we don't dunk or nothing like that, but we do play hard. We do have players that can score the ball um, at will. We do have players that can block and great grab rebounds and do all those amazing things that the guys can do. Um, and it's finally glad that you know, good that the, the male consumers are finally starting to buy in, into our product. My teammates are coming to me, just do you, do you, and like I've been trying to do that and trying to change it up and shoot more and look look for my shot. They say I'm not looking to score, just pass. So I've been trying to do change that up a little bit. Patience is everything. Um, I'm I'm excited that we're finally getting to where we want to be. Um, I'm, People ask me all the time, I go through all those struggles that I went through before to get to this point, if it's gonna be like this. Like this is like the ultimate uh, feeling, the ultimate goal. Like, I don't, I don't know no other way this thing could have kind of panned out for us. I would really like, you know, to, to see what that feels like and have a, a national championship on my hands. So it should be, it's, I would be really excited. I'll probably be speechless. Now, if you do win a title, will uh, there be new t-shirts that Chardé or you designed to uh, give out to fans? I don't do the t-shirt, Chardé do the t-shirt, so maybe there will be a championship t-shirt or whatever. I won't be too busy crying and having fun. Like.